Hi everybody and welcome back. Um, in this video I'm going to introduce a brand new dog. To me anyway, he is not mine. He is one I am working with for his human. Uh, his name is Jack. He is uh, 13 months old, a uh, German Shepherd. And he is quite the bouncy dog. You may be familiar with the kind of dog that just gets all over you if you sit down. And um, he's one of these dogs. He is very bouncy and struggles with, with the default settle. So what we are going to do today is that we are going to teach a default settle that links to when I sit down and now he's looking all nice and well behaved. And I know you're not because, oh my god, you're frustrating. Could you, Jack, 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 thank you. So what we are going to do is that we are going to break the behavior into tiny, tiny pieces to make it easy for him to understand. So the goal for today is to sit down for me on the grass while he settles down instead of mauling me like an idiot. And I know his human will appreciate that so much. So what we are going to do is that we are going to start low and just crouch down a little and reward on the floor. For these behaviors, the default settles, default relaxation behaviors, you reward onto the ground. So, you have your dog with you, and you crouch down a little, and you simply just toss a reward onto the floor. This is a, a dual purpose thing, because first, it prevents him from jumping at you, because his focus will be on the ground, but it also rewards him for seeking down, which is essentially what you want with the default settle. So, Jack, what are you doing? Thank you. So we're going to do it again. Just crouch a little and reward as you do it. Good girl. And repeat. And what we are looking for is that with the downward motion, he eventually just lies down and he is totally mugging me and it's super annoying. But it's okay because he's just a kid. So there you got a nice default settle, so I'm going to build on that. When he lies down, I'm going to crouch still and reward him for being down. Many dogs will choose to lie down during this exercise because they're super quick to figure out where the rewards are placed. And as I told you before, they are on the ground. So the ground is where it's super cool to be at the moment. Notice that I am giving him as much leash as I can afford. If you have a longer leash, that is perfectly okay. And as you work on this, you just go down further with each try. But if, if your dog starts jumping you as you reach a certain level, you have moved too far fast and you will need to, to step back a little and, and just maybe just an inch or two cut that off. So, notice that he already got the point Then when I come down near his level, rewards are going down, down on the ground. So when the dog is, is beginning to see the big picture here that, okay, cool, I got all four on the floor and that is earning me food, because you're foodie, yes you are. Then they may eventually lie down. And we can build on that by staying down crouched and reward him for not mugging me. Good boy. I'm going to try and go down on one knee now. Still keeping the rewards. Good boy. It, it's okay if they sniff for it a bit, just make sure that they don't get out of range. You see, already now he's far less jumpy than he was in, in the beginning. So, I'm going to go further down, onto my knees. And when you get to this point, this is where you can increase the duration between the rewards. And there we move to that. So, 
quick recap. Down means rewards down. Why? And I'm going to absolutely accept this too because it is good boy. A far more calm behavior than than what I started with. And we need to work on approximations to get this to work. I'm going to try to get all the way down onto my knees now. Good boy. And now you can do what I was talking about before, or, or trying to talk about, before I realized that I failed. What? Is that you, you can increase the duration between the rewards. I'm using his dinner right now. So what you can do is like, okay, now we're going five seconds. Then you get up to 10. Good boy. And then you can slowly build up the, the duration. <laughs> and keep your pockets out of the way. If you have a mugger like this one, I'm going to work on that in a later video. And it's going to be grand fun. So. Let's see how much of the idea he got. Come sit. Good boy. Ooh. You okay? So, let's see how much he connects the down behavior with my getting down onto the floor. It's perfectly okay to help the dog. If you bring the treats down along with you like I just did there, it's a super nice hack for the exercise. And it, it's great to to practice the, the whole settle down along with me thing. Come. Good boy. Good. So this is basically the exercise. And we have not let yet. <laughs> learned how to settle when I'm standing and he is he's, he's a baby like oh my god why are people going puppies I want a new puppy um so this uh, this was all for today and I'm going to say thank you for watching and happy training to all of you I hope the best for all of you and your dog and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or shoot me a message over at Facebook.